Hi there guys and welcome to another Yellow Elephant Promotions Monday Night Mini Movie Quiz. Now let me know in the comments that one, you can see me alright and two, you can hear me okay as well. So let me know in the comments that you can see and hear me okay. Oh. So let me know in the that's just my my YouTube checking on the uh, <laughs> the stream as well. Um, <laughs> if anyone can hear that there, hi, how are you all doing? Lovely to see some of you back again. Hey, Antonia, how are you? Hi, Cassandra, thanks very much. Um, I'm super ready for the Greece quiz. Um, I've been getting super into it for later on. Um, with my sandy hair impression. Hi, Simon, how are you doing? Lil Nor, nice to see you. Hi Ellie, oh I'm super ready, super ready for tonight guys. So obviously we have our Wizard of Oz quiz first off this evening. We have 20 questions lined up for you tonight. But what I need you to do first of all is take your YouTube stream and make sure you refresh it and take your little red dot and pop it as far along to the end as possible to make sure you're on the fastest possible stream this evening. Now, obviously, we have Kahoot as well. Your Kahoot code is just here, 498999. Make sure you have that on your Kahoot device. Also make sure you're not logged in to any other apps during the quiz as well. Because if you are logged in, sometimes Kahoot can override and it doesn't enjoy it very much. So please make sure you're staying on the Kahoot app and not jumping in between apps as well. Now we have all that down. Yep. You guys will have 30 seconds to answer each question, but please remember there is a slight delay in the quiz. Two seconds, guys. I've just got to let Greg in. Sorry about that, guys. Greg ran off to the shops. Um... <laughs> Greg ran off to the shops and forgot to bring his key with him. Uh, typical. <laughs> so, right, as I was saying, Gukuhu app. Remember, you will only have about 20 se 25 seconds to answer each question because there is a slight delay in the live YouTube feed. It's just something that we unfortunately can't avoid. But please remember, if you do feel like you're lagging behind at all, to refresh your YouTube screen and make sure you're on the fastest possible point. Now guys, in true yellow elephant fashion, we have some warm up questions for you this evening. Some warm up questions. Now, three questions guys, and what I need you to do for these is pop your answer in the live chat. So answer these in the live chat. Okay, here we go. Question number one. Who hit Toto with the rake in Wizard of Oz? So in the start of Wizard of Oz, who hit Toto with a rake? Pop your answer in the live chat. Let's get those brains warmed up and ready to go. Go, go, go. Who hit Toto with the rake? Let's see your answers, guys. Hoping that delay isn't as fast as I think. Oh, no, unfortunately, it's not Lil Nor. Uh, keep those coming in. Ellie Ward, well done, guys. Antonia, well done. I think we're on roughly about a six or seven second delay tonight, guys. So please remember when you answer those questions on Kahoot, answer them as fast as you can. And your answer for that question, yes, it is Miss Gulch. Miss Gulch. <laughs> question number two. Dorothy comes to a stop in the yellow brick road and it breaks in 
to how many sections. So how many sections does the yellow brick road break into when we first meet Mr. Scarecrow? How many directions does the yellow brick road go in? Oh, here we go, guys. All oh, those answers coming through super fast now, which is great. Antonia, well done. Bang on, guys. Keep them coming through. It was three. Three sections in which it takes off two. Okay, well done, guys. Well done. Right, your final, final question. Final question of your warm-up. Here we go. Ooh, which one will I do? I have so many, so many. Okay, here we go. Let's go for this one. So when Dorothy wakes up, she obviously greets Aunt Em and Uncle Henry. But who is the first person to ask if they remember them? Which of the three males is the first person to ask if she remembers them? I'm looking for the name, the actual name of the character. Pop it in the comments for me, guys. Let's see if you can get this one. Oh, unfortunately, there, there is no snowman. Um, <laughs> Hunk, Bert, not quite, guys. Let's keep guessing. Keep going. <laughs> that, that apparently is a toughie for quite a lot of you tonight. <laughs> oh yes well done Emma bang on it was hickory hickory was the correct answer well done guys if you got those right and uh, there are a few easier questions in the Kahoot as well and obviously you have your options too so we are going to get kick started guys remember as I said we have we have 20 questions this evening there, you will only have about 25 seconds to answer. So get those in as fast as you can. Your questions will only appear on the YouTube Live along with the answer options. Your device will show you four colors. You select the correct color for the corresponding answer. Okay, guys, it's as easy as that. Let's get started. Here we go. Also in the comments, guys, let me know where you're watching from tonight. Uh, let's get some chat going, some chat going. Okay, are you ready? 20 questions. Here we go. Question number one. What are Aunt M and Uncle Henry doing when we are first introduced to them? So what are Aunt M and Uncle Henry doing when we're first introduced to them? Bailing straw, counting chicks, feeding pigs, or painting the fence? Get those answers in. We have Antonia, obviously from Newbury, Danielle from Torquay, Lil Noor from Skipton, again, <laughs> Simon from Newbury and Ellie from Dublin. Nice to see you all again, guys. Thanks so much for continuing to get involved. Guys, remember you have to get those answers in super fast. Remember, it will only allow you about 25 seconds, even if the counter doesn't show that. Okay, ooh, 14 of you getting that correct. They were counting chicks. The, the incubator had broken, so they were counting the chicks. I had originally wrote down how many chicks did they count to, but I thought that was a bit of a dickish move on my part. So let's check those scores. We have Emma, Ruthian, Deborah, Lady Sam, and Tin Man in your top five. Question number two. What does Zeke tell Dorothy to do to Mrs. Gulch? What does Dorothy, <laughs> what does Zeke tell Dorothy to do to Mrs. Gulch? I cannot say that name. Kick her, confront her, spit in her eye, or tell Aunt M on her. Remember guys, you only have 25 seconds to answer, so get those answers in as fast as you possibly can. Hello, Cassandra from Derby as well. Well, super glad you guys can all join us for the lovely Wizard of Oz quiz. Uh, it's one of my favourites and my granny's favourite song in the world is Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Um, so I absolutely love that as well. So yes, guys, 23 of you getting that right. right. It is spit in her eye. Um, Greg was obviously checking the spelling of this quiz and literally could not believe that that was in the film. Uh, I don't recommend you do that to anyone. 
full disclosure. Deborah has taken the lead. Question number three. How many years has Aunt M been waiting to tell Miss Gulch about what she thought of her? 23 years, 20 years, 19 years, or 16 years? Now, obviously, she doesn't tell her because she is a good Christian woman. So the words would not be appropriate. Um, it was back in the day, you know. Uh, 1939? That's 1939 correct. it was released. Um think I've only seen this film once, should have watched it yesterday. I highly recommend watching it again, it's a good watch. Um, Nikki watching from the Netherlands, one of my favourite places in the absolute world. Um, <laughs> Greg's laughing. <laughs> okay, so we have 10 of you getting that correct, it was 23 years, 23 years. Here we go, let's check that out. Question number four. What is the name of Professor Marvel's horse? So what was the name of Professor Marvel's horse? Velvet, Sasha, Sylvester or Horace? What was the horse's name? Pop me a wee comment in the live chat guys. Let me know who your favourite character was. Um, I'm pretty sure mine was the lion. Uh, the cowardly lion. I just, I love his little mannerisms. His whoo kind of mess of him. I think he's just dead cute. Scary as fuck, but dead cute. Um, and yes, guys, 14, are we getting that correct? It was Sylvester. Let's check those scores. Deborah, the Judy is, oh my, oh my. <laughs> Tin Man and Flying Monkeys. Question number five. What does Hickory refer to the hurricane as? What does Hickory refer to the hurricane as? A cyclone, a twister, or tornado, or a gale? That's some Scottish terms coming right in there for you. We gale. A gale I went. Uh, <laughs> I've obviously been drinking tonight. Uh, I'm, I'm not really. Yeah. I've just literally got one glass of wine. Um, Antonia the Tin Man. Lil Nars, the Scarecrow, Ellie, Toto. Um, I did a poll and everyone was really upset that Toto wasn't in it, but you had to add your favourite character. <laughs> It was a, a total it overreaction. Was, it really was. Antonia, Simon, everyone loves the scarecrow. Yes, guys, it was a twister. Question number six. What hits Dorothy during the hurricane and knocks her unconscious? So what hits Dorothy during the hurricane, knocking her unconscious? A broom, a pot, the fence, or a window? What hits Dorothy? Um, I'm assuming, since you're all Wizard of Oz fans, um, did anyone watch the new Judy Garland film? Um, Judy with Renee, is it the woman who played Bridget Jones? Um, and it was fantastic. Uh, so good. What a talented lady. Let's check out your answers. Yes, guys, it was the window. The window came completely out of the fixtures and smacked poor Dorothy. You would think she would have at least gotten a bruise. <laughs> but she didn't. <laughs> That's showbiz. Question seven. How many minutes into the film are we before it all turns to colour? So how many minutes into the film are we before it all turns to colour? 15, 18, 19 or 21 minutes? Uh, if you guys haven't watched it, I super recommend it. Uh, it's quite a sad watch. But uh, yeah, I just think she plays it brilliantly. Love me. Love me some Judy Garland. I went to, I went to the cinema to see my gran as well. Big up the Rini. <laughs> well done, guys. 11 of you getting that correct. It was 19 minutes. 19 minutes in. And then we got the colour. Question eight. Glinda is the witch of where? So Glinda is the witch of where? The north, south, east or west? So my Sandy hair can also be construed for Glinda hair. Don't have a crown though. I'm going to have to discuss that with Greg. Uh, get that put into the future budget. Uh, make sure you donate so I can buy crowns and shit to wear while I do the quiz. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> like we have money for that. <laughs> oh, I really liked her in The Pirate with Jean Kelly. I don't think I've seen that. Have I seen The Pirate, Greg? Don't think so. Well done, guys. 26, we getting that correct. It was The North. 
Let's go to number nine. We're almost halfway through, guys. Which member of the Lollipop Guild did not have checks on his shirt? Was it red, blue, yellow, or green? Uh, when I was 14, 13, I believe, 14, 13, uh, I was in a production of Wizard of Oz and I was a member of the Lollipop Guild. Uh, no, the lullaby, I was in the lullaby league, the lollipop guild for the boys. Um, yeah, and it was this hideous orange dress they made me wear. And when I was like, that's orange, they were like, it's peach. <laughs> they were scary ladies. <laughs> yes, guys, it was the blue lollipop league, gentlemen. There wasn't even a yellow one. I, I, Miranda, I'm, no, Ellie, I'm glad you've noticed because, um, in the past, I have not done that, and I've received criticism for putting the wrong colour in the wrong box, um, but it was on purpose to try and make it harder for you, but I, I've i received some strongly worded complaints about that, so I had to stop. <laughs> Question number 10. The Wicked Witch of the West disappears after threatening Dorothy in a cloud of what colour of smoke? Red, black, purple or green? Get those answers in as fast as you can. Marinda was a flying monkey. Ellie was scarecrow. Uh, I was super glad it wasn't just me that was, <laughs> that was in a production. I feel like it's such a good production to be in though. Um, has anyone watched the, the title ends where they go, uh, you, you learn all the actor names and then they just write uh, munchkins dancing midgets. And I'm sitting there going, that would not fly like nowadays. Holy crap. Like what? Yes, guys, it was a puff of red smoke. Red smoke. Quizards of Oz taking the lead spot. Question mm -hmm. 11. Some people, some people without a brain do an awful lot of talking. Who said it? Was it Dorothy, Scarecrow, Tin Man or the Wicked Witch? Some people without a brain do an awful lot of talking. Um, I'm pretty sure there's been a lot, a lot of that sentiment going around lately. <laughs> Um, who said it though, guys? Get your answers in as fast as you can. I've been watching Once Upon a Time and I'm getting mud. I love Once Upon a Time. It's so good. Uh, I watched the first few seasons, but I haven't gotten back into it because obviously we're doing this job. I hardly get to watch anything for pure enjoyment. <laughs> and well done, guys. 18 of you getting that correct. It was the Scarecrow. Now, guys, it is a Monday night. I know some of you are back to work, but is anyone joining me in a little beverage this evening? Pop me in the comments what you're having for a wee drink. Question number 12. Where does the Tin Man want oiled first? So where does the Tin Man want oiled first? His elbows, his knees, his mouth, or his eyes? Get those answers in as fast as you can. Go, go, go. Lovely white wine. <laughs> his elbows, his knees, his mouth, or his eyes? His mouth, a massive 32 of you getting that correct. Well done, guys. Debra is on fire with three in a row. Question 13. What does the Wicked Witch say she will use the Tin Man as? What does the Wicked Witch say she will use the Tin Man as? A beehive, a can opener, a cooking pot, or a trash can? What does the Wicked Witch say she will use the Tin Man as? Stephanie is joining me with a wee red wine. A wee red wine. Glad you're having a good night, hun. Um, obviously, after this quiz, guys, we do have the Grease quiz at 9 o'clock. I thoroughly recommend you get involved in that as well. Uh, we will be posting the links on the event. Beehive. Yes, guys, 17 of you getting that correct. Well done. Next up. 14. Dorothy, I don't like this forest. It's dark and blank. What is the missing word? Scary, spooky, creepy, or horrid? What is the missing word? Also this week, guys, we do have tomorrow night, One Tree Hill. Wednesday night is Red Dwarf, I believe. Is it Greg? No. No? Um, Good place. Good place on Wednesday night. Thursday, I can't remember. Friday, we've got the RuPaul quiz and an after party where I'm going to be taking the reins and doing all the, 
all the cheesy and everything and fully fully big sing-alongs Riverdale on Thursday guys Riverdale another Chelsea quiz uh, <laughs> so drop us a like on Facebook and get involved in all of those guys uh, we're gonna have so much fun with all the quizzes this week um, super super my week uh, yes guys 10 of you getting the correct it was creepy Okay, question number 15. What does the Wicked Witch make with poison in them to stop Dorothy and the gang? So they make them fall asleep. So what was it? Was it lilies, roses, daisies, or poppies? Yep, Antonia, yep, Riverdale is coming. So is One Tree Hill, the good place. Um, so many good things, guys. Um, super hyped. Super excited. Also, guys, if you've enjoyed this evening, we will be posting our donation links on the live chat and the event as well. If you can donate, please do. 30 of you getting that correct. Question number 16. Unusual we weather we're having, ain't it? Unusual weather we're having, ain't it? Cowardly Lion, Tin Man, Scarecrow or Dorothy? Who said it? Now guys, as I said, we will post the donation links on the event and on the live chat as well. If you can donate, please do. Um, obviously, during these hard times um, where we are trying to do as much as we can for free, but we still have we still have payments to make for the quizzes. Um, so if you can donate and you have enjoyed it, please, please do. It makes the world a difference to us and it means we can continue doing these things until we can make it back to work as well. Well then guys, 17 of you getting that correct. Let's check out the scores. Deborah, Quizards of Oz, Tin Man, Amy, Explanation Mark, and Toto. Question 17. What colour is the horse that first picks them up when they enter the Emerald City? So the horse changes colours, but what colour is it when they first get picked up? Red, purple, yellow, or white? Red, purple, yellow, or white? Let me know in the comments, guys, if you're going to join us for the Greece quiz later on. I may even sing you a wee song. Why no? That's probably it. Everyone gone, no, not doing it anymore. <laughs> uh, High School Musical, we did at the start of lockdown, and the video is available on Facebook. Uh, we won't be doing it for a wee while, um, but we'll eventually get into it. So yeah, purple, 13 of you getting that correct. Well done. Question number 18. What does the witch write in the sky? What does the witch write in the sky? Give it up, Dorothy. You're not going home, Dorothy. Nice shoes, Dorothy. Surrender, Dorothy. Uh, <laughs> what did she say? Um, devil coming to Greece. Yes, Greece. Well, I'm so thankful, guys. Uh, can't wait to do the Greece as well to amazing film and uh, we're slowly making our way through the musical section of the film industry with our Monday night quizzes which is absolutely great because I am 100% here for it. There was talks of Hairspray earlier on which I am a massive fan of. Yes guys it was Surrender Dorothy. I like how some of you went nice shoes Dorothy. Uh, I wish that is what she had said. Question number 19. Who does the wizard ask to step forward first when they first meet them? So when the gang first arrives, who is the first person the wizard asks to step forward? Dorothy, the Tin Man, the Coward, the Lion, or the Scarecrow? Um, Hamilton, I see it's just been released on um, Disney+, Plus, so we will be having a wee look at it, and hopefully eventually we will get to that as well. Um, New Girl is something that we are looking into as well, Katie. No worries, guys. Please keep all your suggestions and everything coming through so we know what you guys want from us as well. Because um, as much as we love doing things that we absolutely love as well, our ultimate goal is to please you guys too. Um, and that's why you should donate, because we're nice guys and we do these kind of things. So well done, guys. Oh, only nine of you getting that correct. It was actually the Tin Man who was asked to step forward first. And your final question this evening, how many times must Dorothy tap her heels? How many times must Dorothy tap her heels? Once, twice, three or four times? 
Now, guys, I will be posting, as I said, the final scores and the donation links on the event and everything. Please do donate. Get involved with Greece as well. Um, we're super hyped to be doing two quizzes on a Monday because I get to, I love films, man. Love them. Uh, <laughs> so, guys, thanks so much. And if you can donate, please do. It literally does, even if it's just a pound, make the world a difference to Greg and I. Um, yes, guys, well done. 31 of you getting that correct. It was three times. Okay, here we go. Your final podium. Coming in third place, we have Toto. Second place, we have Quizards of Oz. And first place tonight, Deborah. Well done, guys. Massive congratulations. Thank you to everyone who got involved, guys. I will see you in half an hour for Greece. I have to go and get all the links made up and ready. Uh, super hyped. Please donate, and we will see you all very soon. Bye!